This is Tanya Bell. We are starting the extracurricular meeting on August 8th, 2002 at 6.52 p.m. Um, we have Ms. Albright on the phone, Ms. Leone's here, and Mr. Scott is present, and Ms. Schmidt is here, as well as Dr. Cooper. Our first item is fall sports update. Uh, numbers look pretty good at both the, the middle school and the high school level as long as everybody that's signed up gets their stuff in. Um, we kind of had a little bit of a gap there in girls soccer and I feel at the middle school level where we just didn't have a lot of kids participating. Um, so we were down to one team last year. It sounds like we're going to be back up to, to two teams this year, which is good. Um, but that gives us a gap at the high school level that he's done a good job of uh, pushing the program and, and getting more kids out. Okay. Coaches update? Um, the only thing we're still missing right now, uh, middle school level, we're missing um, a field hockey head coach uh, and an assistant, so we need the whole staff at the middle school level. Um, and a middle school assistant volleyball coach. Uh, middle school's tough because they go right after school, um, but I have a good lead on a, a middle school field hockey coach, um, head coach, and, and it's someone young, so hopefully they can, they can bring along a friend. Um, and 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 well well versed in the sport, the youth program at the middle at the at, at for field hockey is really great in the community. So I would hate to, you know, one of the biggest fears is one. It's one thing to not have enough kids to have a team, but it's one thing to have a, ton, a bunch of kids out and not have a coach, um, and that's that's a shame. Um, but but I'm hoping the the middle school from a middle school standpoint we can get that filled. We're also missing. Um, a high school field hockey assistant, but I feel like that um, field hockey is pretty niche sport. Uh, and when I was looking, or as I've been beating the bushes to find field hockey coaches, it's also short at the co uh, collegiate level. Um, so we're not we're not in a, we're not in a bubble by ourselves. It's it's across the board. Um, so we'll just keep pushing that. Okay. Participation discussion. Participation discussion. I think that's what you're talking about, the numbers up here. Oh, our numbers. Okay. Are, our numbers are good. Yep. Equipment. Um, you know what? We've gotten some good deals uh, uh, in far, as far as, uh, which would make Ms. Haynes happy, as far as large purchases. Um, but, but there's always the concern, and I always bring it up. Um, the climate is different right now, um, and it's the little things that are adding up that are just costing way, way more than what it has been. Um, so Mrs. Levengood is doing a really good job of, of, of getting bids, even for the smallest stuff, to try to keep us at the, at the moment. But it's, um, it's pretty tough out there right now. And our student entrance fee discussion. Yep, we talked about this at the last meeting. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we kind of tabled it to, to sit on it a little bit. Uh, and, and I suggested that um, to promote um, culture and to promote more people out at our games, because it is a lot of students out at our games, that we alleviate the student fee um, for our students only. Um, right now, those tickets cost $4. Um, they're lumped in with, with seniors. Uh, students would not be able to get in without having an ID. Um, and I feel like we would have a lot more than just the, the regulars that come out for every game. Okay. Okay. Will that go in the minutes somehow to approve it? Or? Yeah. Yeah. We talked about it a little bit at the last meeting. That we all were you not here? You don't remember? I think we all agreed on that. Okay. But what, what, what do we? I'm just asking. What do we lose by not charging? I'm not, I'm I'm all for it. I just mean, is it two thousand dollars? Twenty thousand dollars? I think we had that number. Do we even know? I just have a question. Yeah, yeah, I did bring the numbers with me. But I, I haven't the oh, last time. Oh um, but it's like I said, it's it's the same it's the same kids that come out every time. But that little increased concession and yep. all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm totally for it. See the stamps packed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. great. Right. 
Yep. I'm fine with that. So we have to vote on that in uh you want to put it for um do you want to run it as a uh, through committee of the whole and then vote it on on the 22nd or would you like to put it on as an agenda edit for uh, when's the first contest our first football contest is the 26th and i'm pretty sure that might yep. be our first pretty close to our first home event okay the 22nd would be the voting meeting so we could run it through committee and then put it on the voting meeting agenda if that's okay for a yep. second. Okay. And then we have to promote it, right? Obviously. Right. Yep, yep. We will do stuff. Um, I'm really hoping it really pushes some, some students to come out that, that aren't normal regulars. No, I think it will help. Anything else? Um, I just wanted to give you a quick update on our unified program. Um, October 18th, they're going to be headed to the Youth Summit, so four students will go, um, two coaches or two teachers uh, will go up to Kutztown University for the Youth Summit. That's something that, that kind of has gotten pushed to the wayside because of, because of COVID, and we were supposed to host it last year um, just for, for the local schools. Uh, but now that, that we're transitioning now to that, um, it's, it's gotten to be big again. Um, so we'll send, uh, we'll send four to that on October the 18th. We're also going to be the site for the new training video for Bocce. Um, they need a new video, national video, um, and they've chosen us to, to help them with that, which is pretty cool. Yes. Yeah, yeah right? I love yeah. Bocce. <laughs> Do we have Bocce courts here? No? Um, we have, we, we have the, the PVC Bocce courts that we use inside, and then we have inside bocce equipment like balls. They're more like, they feel the whole sand filled. Did we, uh, did we, I thought we were going to set aside some of the old turf to create some areas to do bocce courts. We outside. still have the old turf. So we just eventually we can do that. We haven't moved outside. Okay. Um, because it's, uh, it'll move up. Yeah. The bocce so season will move up the strips. Of, yeah, we saved some strips of sods yep. for that. Oh. But it's just not ready yet. We got three courts at, at my work. And it's, oh, that, yeah, we're probably adding two more. It's, it's bocce is freaking. It's big. It's great. We'll it's have a, a we, Coach Ellison thinks we'll have enough for two teams this year. That's great. Oh, with the influx of the middle school kids coming up. Nice. Into, yeah, which is great. I grew up playing bocce. Okay. I have two sets. I have two sets. I'm assuming uh, for the students to have access for home contest and events, they would have to show their Boone ID. Correct. Yes. And it's only Boone students that Correct. would get in for free. It's not opposing teams. Right. And it, um, is it all, all levels? Like, what if like the middle school students came? Yeah. yeah. As, and they yeah. get an ID. It, it might create some some more headaches. Confusing. For some yeah. Um, I mean, this is all good, but, um, okay. <laughs> um, we talked about it last time. They'll spend the four dollars at concessions. They will. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay. Anything else? All right. That's the end of the meeting at um, seven p.m. Hi, can I talk to you?